Welcome back to another week of VLA as we're winding this school year down. Uh, I liked reading some of your responses for your ideas for healthy summer snacks. Uh, all of them were fruit. I love fruit. Watermelon, apples, bananas, strawberries, blueberries, things like that. And another good thing to do with those is just throw them all together and make a fruit salad. That is really good. Uh, I found a new one that I'm going to try, a new healthy summer snack recipe that just uses blueberries and some vanilla Greek yogurt and honey. You mix that together and throw it in the freezer and make your own popsicles. That sounds like a great summer snack. I'm going to try that one. I'll also put that recipe on the activity sheet. Speaking of activity sheet, uh, your warm-up and fitness fun is a jumping jam. All right, hope you have fun with that again. It's one that we used earlier this year. And then you're starting something new, juggling. What's juggling? Stay tuned, watch the video, practice, and find out. Hope you have fun with that. Have a great week. And let me show you what equipment you need. You won't need too much equipment. I just have a jump rope on the floor. You can use any kind of a rope or even any some kind of a line on the floor. Uh, you'll need a laundry basket or something that you can jump into. And you'll need some pillows. So grab yourself some pillows and join me with the jump and jam. For the next couple of weeks, we're going to work on something called juggling. What is juggling? Trying to keep two or more objects in the air at the same time. Well, we're going to start at some easier levels to help you with that. Now, in my hands, I'm holding some juggling scarves. Most people don't have these. Maybe you have something really light like these. So you don't have to have a juggling scarf or a ball or anything at the moment to work on juggling. probably have some plastic grocery bags around which work very well for juggling. So go grab yourself a plastic grocery bag and come back and join me as we learn how to juggle. So the first thing we're going to do is one hand, one bag, just working on our hand position and how to toss and catch when we work on our juggling. All right, so when we're juggling with a bag or something really light, we're going to start with the back of our hand towards the ceiling. So the back of your hand is facing that way. And when I toss, I'm going to toss with my hand going that direction. I'm going to 
I'm going to toss with my hand going that direction, all right, and catch with my hand coming down. So catch, catch it like your hand is a cat's claw. Cat's claw coming down there. So I'm going to toss up, back of my hand facing the ceiling, catch it like a cat's claw. Meow. Meow. Rawr. All right, we're going to do 15, so we're going to do 10 more. Eight. Seven. It's okay if you miss it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right? Now we're going to add some little fun things in there to practice that again. This should be the hand that you'd like to use. You start with the hand you'd like to use. All right? Now we're going to do clap and catch. Same thing. Toss it up. Clap. Catch it like a cat. Toss it up a little higher. All right, raise that hand right up over your head. Clap and catch. Let's do 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. It's okay to get it up in the air. Two, one. How about toss, spin, and catch? Same thing, just your dominant hand. Don't use this hand yet. Don't use this hand yet. All right, I'm going to toss it up, do a little spin, catch it with that hand. Or I'll just do 10 of these. Whoa, that was a nice floater. Go the other direction so we don't get too dizzy. Three more. I know, not counting very well today. And now we're going to go the non-dominant hand, the hand that you don't use as much, hand that you don't use as much. Back of the hand faces the ceiling, toss it up, catch it like a cat. Meow. 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 Ten more. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. All right, add clap and catch to that one. Catch like a cat. Catch like a cat. Add spin and catch to that one. Just catching with the one hand. Just the hand you don't like to use. And do as many of those as you want to. Do as many of the clap and catch as you want to. All right, so that's level one and level two. Level one was your dominant hand. Level two was your non-dominant hand. Level three, we're gonna work on what's called a cascade pattern. So I'm gonna toss it up, but I'm gonna toss it towards my other shoulder. So it's gonna go up, catch it with the opposite hand, but toss it across your body, towards your other shoulder. Keep it going. Remember, back of the hand, catch it like a cat. Meow. Raise the back of your hand towards the ceiling, catch it like a cat. Do seven more. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And you can add the same thing to those. So I can toss, clap, catch with the opposite hand. Toss, clap, catch. Toss. Work on that pattern with opposite hands going across your body, across your body, because that's going to be really important when we start adding other bags. So now I got two objects. I like to use different colors. If you have different color bags, that's helpful. If not, it's not a problem. All right, now we're going to work on tossing two, but not at the same time. All right, it's going to be toss, toss, and I'm going to just let them fall to the ground because you know what? It's more important that I get the toss correctly right now than that I catch them. Everybody wants to worry about the catch. The catch is not important yet. We've got to get the toss going the right direction. All right, so we're just going to go toss, toss, let them fall. Toss, toss, let them fall. All right, I'm making sure that they went to the opposite side. 
All right, we're going to do that again. Toss, toss, let them fall. And we're going to keep doing that until, until it gets easier and easier. Toss, toss, let them fall. Some people like to use numbers. One, two, let them fall. You can come up with something in your mind that works best for you. Do that. I use toss, toss, let them fall. Let's do that one more time. Toss, toss, let them fall. Now we'll see if we can catch them. So it's going to be toss, toss, catch, catch. All right, it's going to be toss, toss, catch, catch. Toss, toss, catch, catch. The higher you can get them, the easier it is to catch them. Toss, toss, catch, catch. Maybe with your head. Toss, toss, catch, catch. Remember, it's okay if you miss them. It's okay if you miss them. Toss, toss, catch, catch. Toss, toss, catch, catch. Toss, toss, catch, catch. Another rhyme that some people like to use is crisscross applesauce. Crisscross applesauce. Crisscross applesauce. Crisscross applesauce. You figure out what works best for you, keep practicing that one. So the bags get to the opposite side of your body and have the catch. Then, of course, everybody likes to go right to the three bags first. But see how we work up to the three bags? One and then two and then three. Now, once you lay them on the ground, we're going to put two bags in the hand that you like to use. All right? But the first one, the first one I'm going to put way back in here between my thumb and first finger. Okay? Way back in here. Kind of do that. The next one, all right, I'm going to put in my pinchers. So this one's going in my pinchers. Pinch that one right there. Then I'll put one of these in this hand. All right, now I do use numbers on this one. Numbers help me the best. And again, all right, I think you can guess we're not going to worry about the catch. We're just going to see if we can get the toss right. Do not worry about the catch yet. All right, you got two in the same hand. This is actually number one. I'm going to toss number one, number two, and then number three. So it's going to remember you're tossing opposite. Go opposite sides. This is your crisscross pattern crisscross pattern, it's going to be one, two, three. And I'm just going to let them fall. Because right now the catching is not the most important thing. The tossing is the most important thing. Here I go again. I'm going to tuck one way back in here. All right, way back in here. I'm going to take another one, put that in my pinchers. I'm going to pinch this one. All right, then this one I'll pinch or just kind of could put in this hand however you want to. Okay, so number one comes here, number two, and then number three. So here we go, one, two, three, and just let them fall. Let them fall. All right, you probably need to do that about 25 more times because that's the most important thing. You keep practicing that. I am going to show you the next step with catching. All right, so I like to keep the same colors in the same position. All right, that one's going to go way back. This one goes in the pinchers. This one's in this hand. All right, so I'm just going to catch them this time. After I let them go, it's going to be one, two, three. And then catch them with the opposite. Now I have two in this hand and one in this hand. Let's try that again. Way back, pinchers, this hand. So it's going to be one, two, three. And just catch them. Just catch them. Again, once you get used to that, you probably need to do that about 25 times. Get really, really, really used to it. All right, and then we'll try to add the next or the next step to that. So again, get that ready. This time, after I catch them, I'm going to toss them back up. I like to use my numbers. So you're going to hear me say one, two, three, one, two, three. 
All right? So I'm going to see if I can toss one more. So I'm going to see if I can toss, catch, then toss. So it's going to go one, two, three. One, two, three. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Oh, that one got stuck. So I'll just start over. One, two, three. One, two, three. And that one got stuck. So I'll just start over. One, two, three. One, two, three. And it's okay if they fall. All right, you keep practicing. Remember, go slow. It's not going to come easy always at the beginning. Tossing is more important than catching at the beginning. All right, do the best you can with that. And I'll see you next week.